Hello everyone! Hello and Merry Christmas! Oh, and oh. <laughs> so season's, gre season's greetings from uh, London. We thought we'd, um, well before we leave the city next month uh, we thought we'd go for um, a little trot around just before Christmas. So as you can see in the background here uh, it's all looking very festive and at the moment we're in the Borough Market area near London Bridge and we're going to trot around and look at all the Christmas lights for you in London uh, tonight. Maybe get some mulled wine, mince pies, sing some carols and get very festive. So uh, welcome to this special edition of Map Trotting for Christmas. <laughs> So now we're going to walk along the riverside uh, to the London Bridge City Christmas Market which is all the way between London Bridge which is over here, there it is looking nice and red and orangey and it goes all the way along the riverside here on the south of the river where all these trees are and then all the way down there towards the Tower Bridge. found the sweet stall and they are thinking of buying everything I think <laughs> so down by the river side you've got a lovely big present there and I think it's full of alcohol and food oh, and I've uh, just been told we have a donations guitar case that's just there, been put in front um, of us lot of people feeling festive. eating and drinking so a bit of music lovely. coming on now and look at that setting, Be beautiful tower bridge in the background and then this building here, for those that didn't know, it has many nicknames, the bicycle helmets and some uh, rude nicknames as well but uh, it's called City Hall and it's home to the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson at the moment, so that's City Hall right by the River Thames and uh, if you'll excuse me I now have to go and dance to the music. So just behind all the, um, the Christmas stalls here, you have this area down here. I don't know if you can see all the steps, but it is a little amphitheatre and it's known as More London. It's right beside City Hall, which we just mentioned. And at the moment, if you look in there, you can see a Christmas party in full swing. Looks like they're having a lot of fun in there. You uh, can see a few dodgy jumpers and hats going on as well. Um, if you come in uh, to London in the summertime, sometimes they have plays and they have shows, they've had Shakespeare, various films and everything, and then people gather here on the steps. You can't come to a Christmas market without getting a random breakfast um, with pickles and onions and all kinds of crap on there. So that is beautiful. Okay, so we have moved on uh, from the south of the river. Now we're north of the river. We are in London's Covent Garden. It is the last Friday before Christmas. It's absolutely heaving around here. Now look at that tree. Beautiful little tree uh, behind us, very sparkly. And uh, we're right near the old market building. I'll show you some of that. We've got a huge glitter balls up there. So the light is bouncing all over the roof and the floor. And combined with that, got huge bits of mistletoe. Um, so these lamps and big green leaves. So you know the Christmas tradition. There should be a lot of people underneath there, uh, kissing each other for the Christmas kiss. So that's uh, Common Garden Plaza. Hello again people! Okay, so we've come a little bit further from Common Garden which is in that direction and now we are in Trafalgar Square which is geographically... Woo! Here it is, look at that, look, we've got the fountains behind us. Nice blue fountain, there we go, lovely and behind me here is a big Christmas tree. Now 
as uh, Christina was just mentioning, it uh, kind of looks funny, I guess, to the untrained eye. This <laughs> it looks very sad. Oh, very sad <laughs> Christmas tree. Look at it. But um, it's actually um, a, Nor um, a Norwegian pine, and it is chopped down in a forest near Oslo. And this has happened every year since 1947. So it's a gift from the people of Norway to the people of London for their help during the Second World War. Um, so that's why it's an actual tree. It's a very tall tree as well. Um, and you can see the star just up on the top. And from about the 14th of December, every night up until Christmas Eve, they have carols at the base of the tree at five or six o'clock in the evening. So it's a nice tradition. It's probably not London's most impressive Christmas tree, but definitely their most symbolic. Thank you, Norway. <laughs> so just a short walk from Trafalgar Square, you have Leicester Square as well, just to the north of it. Um, usually this is uh, the place where people come to the cinema, but in the middle of the square at the moment. We have a massive Ferris wheel. We've got a merry-go-round, so we've got a bit of a fairground. Uh, lots of stalls as well. You can buy hot dogs, candy floss, all the fun of the fair. And you might recognize that symbol in the background there, because here the other night uh, they had the Star Wars premiere. So Leicester Square is the main place in London where all the uh, international premieres are held. So uh, here we are, London's wait, Leicester wait. Square. Okay, so we've come a little bit further west. Um, now we're in the um, St. James's area of London, quite a prestigious area. As uh, indicated from this uh, fine building behind me, this is the Ritz Hotel. I uh, don't know if you can see the sign over there. It is very bright. Let me just see, I can't focus on that. Um, but yes, stunningly lit up and uh, some of the best Christmas lights on a building that we have seen so far. For Piccadilly you've got this road, uh, runs down behind me and this, uh, turn the right way, is called Old Bond Street and then if you keep going down that way it uh, runs into New Bond Street. So it's all one road but uh, people just call it Bond Street but it's split in half, we've got the old and the new bit and some pretty stunning Christmas lights down here as well. Um, and down that end there's a huge diamond which is flashing on and off so very very impressive and you've got some very fancy shops down here lots of jewelers and uh, very high fashion high-end fashion maybe so um, they've decided to go with a party theme this year um, down in Carnaby Street so some very colorful again disco balls lots of stars lots of lights and all good fun and even at this time of night it's about 9 30 on a Friday it is buzzing down here, lots of bars and little cafes as well, so great place to come any time of year, but very funky at Christmas. 